Welcome to the Bambanani series. Every child has a right to quality education and teaching inclusively can contribute to achieving that goal. This series of videos illustrates how teachers are teaching inclusively in South African classrooms. The videos focus on teaching numeracy and literacy in the foundation and intermediate phases. To support participation and learning by all learners, the teachers in the clips differentiate their teaching methodologies, content and assessment strategies, and classroom environment. Let's join hands to teach every child. I'm Miss Baloi. I'm a teacher in Bosmond Primary School. I teach the grade twos. I started my lesson by counting because counting is very much important. The learners must start by counting every day. And also it is a warm up to the learners. Then after that, we discussed about the plus and minus, the different meanings of the plus and minus. Because as you know that we have children who are, who are, who are doing English as a second language and others is a third language to them. So I wanted them to understand the meaning of plus and minus before we can start with our lesson. Before we work on our number line, we are going to do, to talk about this sign. Who can tell what does that sign mean? You must add. Now, if I don't want to say it, what else, what language can I use? You can use a plus. Plus, if I don't want to say plus. And. Yes, and, I can say five and six, which means five plus six. So again, I want us to talk about minus. What does, what weight can I use? Take away. Take away. You can also say less. Yes. You can say smaller. Yes. So the first thing that Ms. Beloy did was that she talked a lot about the language used when we, when we add and subtract. And I found this to be really incredible as many of her learners are not first language English learners. So I think getting the mathematical discourse right is very important. So we are going to work on the number line using these two signs, take away and plus. When I write 30, plus five, 30 plus five. You go to your number line and plot. You plot the number 30, you plot the number 30. You go and make a plot here. So after plotting, what must you do? You must jump up to number <coughs> 35. Mm, the learner said to come to the front. I give them a sum and they come to the front and they have to come and do the jumps. When it's a plus, they must count forward and when it's a minus, they must hop backward to show that they are taking away. We are going to do this sum. Nine plus three is equals to. I want, I, I want one person to come here and plot. When you plot, you come and stand there here by nine and then you make a hop counting. We can come and do it, it for us, Kaylee. I'm standing on nine, but I'm gonna jump on three jumps. One, two, three. What's the answer, class? Ronaldo, it is? 12. The answer is 12. 12. 15 minus four. 15 minus four. I'm standing on four. I'm going to jump four numbers backwards. One, two, three, four. What is our answer? Yes. Seven. Yes. It is? Eleven. Ms. Beloy had a lot of wonderful physical resources that she used and the first thing we saw was a huge number line stretched along the carpet and she really got her learners physically involved where she asked learners to jump forwards and backwards on this number line to, to carry out their addition and subtraction problems. And I found that to be very, very effective because learners were first of all um, involved, they were excited um, 
And, and when you do something, it triggers memories so much more than just seeing it on a board. Ms. Beloy's learners then went to their groups where they were grouped in mixed ability groups. And these learners then had the chance to work on their own number lines within their groups. And uh, she had made wonderful little rabbits and frogs as props for the learners to hop up and down the number line. Well, this was really effective because they realized that jumping up and down uh, while counting um, was not only fun, but it was also a way of calculating their, their sums. And it was also wonderful to see the learners working together as, as a group and some learners helping other learners to, to count backwards and forwards along their number line. I'm going to write a sum on the board and then you are going to work in groups. So I'll give you the bands then you are going to use them to hop on your number line. Come, come, we buy 20. Uh, no, this is one, two, three, four, five, six. The answer is 26. One, two, three, four, five, six. The answer is 26. Our answer is so the group work help the learners. It also motivates those learners who are weak. The learners who are strong make, uh, helps the learners who are weak. So uh, they understand it better. And also using a bunny is so fun to the children. I, I saw them enjoying it. So learning with enjoying makes the lesson very much perfect. I walked around to check how the learners are working and I was supporting the weaker learners. And to, and to see if they understand the lesson. Nine minus five is equal to? You bought a four. Yes, it's a correct answer. What is our answer? Twelve. Our answer is? Twelve. At the end of the lesson, I made sure that the learners understood what we were learning about. Did you enjoy? Yes, ma'am. So I'm going to give you a homework that you are going to work at home. And you are going to use that bunny at home to plus and minus on a number line. Uh, the concrete objects makes uh, the learners understand the lesson and it makes the lesson more interesting. When they count, it's, it becomes more easier to them when they use a number line because there is something that they can see and they do it physically and it's the children cannot forget what they did physically. So I encouraged, I encouraged the teachers to use the concrete objects in their lessons.